Let's look at dating of a fossil in some more detail. Probably the best known dating method to the general public is the C14 method. The C14 method can be applied accurately on things that have lived. It reaches beyond the scope of this video to explain the technical details of all the dating methods themselves. It suffices for now to say that there are about 40 radiometric dating methods and that C14 dating, also called carbon dating, is only one of them. To date a carbon containing fossil with the C14 method is not possible for very old fossils. The absolute maximum for dating a fossil is 100,000 years in theory and probably 50,000 years in practice. Let's place a blue line which represents the time that C14 dating is valid for. The blue line is so short that it's only a dot. The 40 other dating methods date rock. The fossils in the rock is dated by the date of the rock. Let's take a look at how it works. Here we have some rock layers that contain fossils. The arrows point to the dating of the rocks that scientists have agreed upon. So if we have a fossil there, then the age is between the found ages for the rock it is in. That is how we date the majority of the fossils. It's not often done with the C14 method. The maximum age of each dating method differs, and generally we can say that dating methods with a smaller range have a higher accuracy, and dating methods with a larger range have a larger inaccuracy. So this illustrates how it works for a rock of almost 80 million years. Method 2 would give the most accurate age for this rock. When it's older, method 3 gives a better answer, because method 2 is off scale. If it's even older, method 4 gives the best answer. Well, at least, this is how it works in theory. Now let's take a look at something we have a known age for. Actually, the age cannot be known for sure, because nobody was there when it happened. About dinosaur scientists agree that they got extinct 65 million years ago. That is way off scale for the C14 dating. So you shouldn't apply C14 method on dinosaur bones, because it has no C14 anymore. Unless if it is contaminated. Let's test that. Some scientists applied the C14 methods on bones of this kind of dinosaur, and it was dated 22,000 years old. That proves that the sample was contaminated. Also for this kind of dinosaur, 24,000 years old, also contaminated. More examples. All dated less than 50,000 years, so they must all be contaminated. More examples. Why are they all contaminated? That is because this is done improperly. This shows how incompetent the scientists are. They messed up all the bones. They should absolutely not apply C14 dating on dinosaur bones because we know that the dinosaurs are extinct for 65 million years. Doing that is bound to yield unreliable ages. If they would be good scientists, they would know. Let's take a look at another case where dating methods were applied. It is about the dating of this specific human fossil. It was found in a rock layer. That was known to be so old that C14 methods should not be applied. The area also had a volcano nearby, drawn here schematically. The layer on top is always the youngest, and the layer at the bottom is always the oldest. Volcanoes are very useful for dating, because the radiometric clock resets when the rock gets molten. So we can use that as an excellent datable object. So the dating method was applied and it was found to be between 213 and 230 million years old. Huh, so old? That can be right. Human like creatures did not exist yet. Get rid of the date. So the scientists started to date other layers. The layer below the rock that contains the fossil was dated 3.18 million years. So that shows that the other dating was wrong. 
They also selected other samples of the volcanic ash and the date was now set to 2.61 million years. Now the layer was estimated to be 2.9 million years. Since the scientists now knew what date they expected, they could apply more dating methods on the layer that contained the fossil. That is because they now had a date to calibrate on. And so three additional dating methods also were in the range of 2.7 to 3 million years. While this seems normal, this is actually rare. In most cases dating methods do not line up this much. But anyway, this justifies the rejection of the old age of over 200 million years. We found the oldest human skull ever! The oldest human skull ever, huh? Are you sure? I don't believe that. Some scientists were uncomfortable with that age. Because it has a significant impact on evolutionary theory. So they decided to date the volcanic ash again. And they found another age. And so rejected the 2.61 million years. So they were right to be skeptical about the other dates as well. What more fossils did you find in that layer? Well, we also found pigs and elephants. Pigs? Yes, pigs. Pigs didn't evolve yet. Those days can be right. Get rid of those ages. There. Now all the fossils are consistent with an age of 1.9 million years. And that's how the dating of fossils work. How we know if a radiometric age is reliable is easy. If it matches the theory, it's reliable. If it doesn't, it is not. <laughs>